In another courtroom, a Kansas City, Missouri police officer is standing trial for a deadly shooting. Eric DeVolcanier is charged with involuntary manslaughter in the death of Cameron Lamb. KCTV5's Emily Rittman was inside that packed courtroom. She joins us live now outside the courthouse. Emily. Carolyn, a judge and not a jury will decide if DeVolcanaire is guilty or innocent of involuntary manslaughter and armed criminal action. Today, both sides made their opening statements and the state began presenting their case. Prosecutors say DeVolcanaire was reckless and entered the property where Cameron Lamb was living without consent or a warrant. They hinted that a gun found near Lamb was possibly planted or staged and that ammunition may have been planted in his pocket. We are waiting to see what evidence is presented to support that. The defense disputes that any evidence was planted and said the witness testimony used to make that claim has changed. Prosecutors questioned police officers who took the stand about inconsistent testimony from previous depositions compared to today. DeVolcanier's defense attorneys say he began investigating Lamb because other officers saw Lamb chasing another vehicle at 60 to 90 miles per hour that belonged to an on-again, off-again girlfriend. The defense argues DeVolcanier shot because Lamb had a gun pointed at another officer, and any officer would respond in the same way. We will ask you to find in your verdict what this case you now know is really about. Careful and responsible police officers protect our citizens in their own homes. Careless and irresponsible police officers shoot our citizens in their own homes. Earth's testimony regarding this gun has transformed itself over time to fit a very specific theory that the state will be arguing. Roberta's testimony regarding this gun is not consistent. The evidence will show that it is not credible. And with all due respect, it is not a coincidence that it has been manipulated in the 11th hour. And COVID-19 restrictions do require social distancing in the courtroom, which means a set number of people are allowed inside the courtroom. Cameron Lamb's family and supporters filled one side. The Vulcaneer's family and law enforcement filled the other side. This is a developing trial that has just completed day one. We will continue to follow this for you and bring you updates. Reporting live, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News. Emily, thank you.